And when we think about sports performance, it's really neat for us to think about uh, using a systems-based approach. This is somewhat opposite of traditional type thought, which follows more of a reductionist type model, you know, where I break components down within a, uh, an object, a, a model, or, or even a, a group of objects, and I explain that object by their components. So if I was gonna take this grease pen apart, I'm, I'm explaining by the cap, the felt tip pen, the outer, the, 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 the back side, and then I can put it back together and it comprises this. When we're working with living, breathing organisms, athletes, teams, and then systems that are a part of those teams, it doesn't always equal up to, to two when we go one plus one. Oftentimes the sum is not always um, a sum of the parts. Okay, so we think about a systems-based approach, we have a lot of different types of uh, components. Oftentimes these, interact these, these different components have a lot of different interactions. They could go, um, in different you know, directions. They could have different roles or responsibilities. They could even have different intentions, goals, or, or, or even motivations. This could be a team with different athletes, with different position groups, or even coaches, personnel. This could be a single person within one system where I have my heart to my liver, my stomach, blood flow. I have different systems working together. So when we think about a systems-based approach, we need to understand that, you know, I can't just break things down and explain them in a neat fashion. The things that we are working with are, are extremely complicated. They're going in a lot of different directions. They're getting stress from a lot of different directions, from academics to athletics to social life. So we need to think about things on more of a holistic lens. That's where sports performance comes in hand, especially as we have a really living, breathing, interactive type group where we can talk about the athlete. If you remember, there's two components that we want to emphasize for sports performance always. One is we want to keep the athlete at the center of every conversation, and two, we understand that development is over time. 